Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Door. Well, today we're going to be talking about survival bracelets. I have one right here. You guys have seen a couple of videos. And uh, my buddy Spencer from paracordsurvival.web.com. Okay, let's go over some of these bracelets real quick. Here's the, uh, the Cobra. This is the, uh, I think this is the half hitch wrap. This one I actually kind of prefer. Nice and wide. Now I asked Spencer, I was like, well, how much material is in each of these? Um, each of these bands. He says there's about 10 inches per inch of banding. So, okay, that's pretty pretty nice. We're actually, unfortunately, going to destroy one of these just to kind of emphasize how much cordage are in here. Now, one thing that's cool about these things, and you know, it, it is kind of a survival type, you know, gizmo or gadget. This you always have some cordage with you, and it's a lot of things. You know, 550 cord. It's it's just endless possibilities that you can use with it. And actually, Ace has had one around his neck. He's got a 550 cord collar that we've been using, and we're going to talk about that one here in a second. So let's go ahead as we got one right here and we're gonna unfortunately and I do apologize Spencer I know you worked hard on this and I hate to destroy your work but for the uh, for science we're, we're gonna do that anyway so we're gonna go in here and just I'm gonna try to be as gingerly as I can and just use my scissors and cut one of these all right so we're just gonna cut this towards the top get away from some of this uh, some of the the burned areas so there you go, we just wasted an inch. You want to be careful as possible. And we're just going to start to unravel this thing and see what we got here. Now, you guys all know 550 cord. Uh, the reason it's called 550 cord is because one strand can theoretically hold about 550 pounds. Um, I don't know what its shock limit is as in a falling body, how much you can retain, but uh, it, it can. I've actually tested it with my body weight, a, a single cord of five, a single piece of 550 cord, and uh, you know, it's it, it's really strong. I mean, it's great for any shelter building. It's great for shoelaces, uh, a, you know, cordage for a bow drill, anything like that. And the other thing is that there's, there's uh, strands inside the 550 cord that you can use for other things, fishing line. Some people talk about using them from sutures and everything. I've never tried that, and, and you know, I think that would be kind of the last limit for me because they're not going to be sterile. So I don't know if you want to be using unsterile cord to sew yourself up. But then again, if you're bleeding to death and you have to sew yourself up with something, I guess uh, unsterile is better than nothing. Or maybe uh, one of our doctors that watches can can point us. Hey, US and ER doc, can you give us a uh, <laughs> give us some uh, background information in reference to that? So I'm unraveling this one right now. Let's see what we got. Now, of course, we could make these. I could make this myself if I took the time to learn how to make this. But it is. I do think it's kind of a low-budget type thing to invest in. So we're getting back into our area right here. This is roughly almost three foot. Another about three foot piece. And I'm not going to undo this monkey ball or this monkey fist. I'll tell you, I'll probably have to sit at this knot for a while to get it undone. But we're looking at another probably 16 inches, maybe 20 inches worth of cord. So that's roughly, probably, probably about, about uh, seven, over seven feet worth of cord. So that's definitely pretty good. I mean, this right here would probably help you, easily help you with the bow, bow drill. Um, shed, the, shed the inner lining to make some shelters and everything. Definitely some good Possibly stuff. Possibly endless. I've seen people make small little nets with the uh, the inner cords of the 550 cord. Just to show you guys here, there should be seven strands of this mess. Or six. I always forget. No, there's seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And each of these strands, these seven strands, of course, are you just unroll them one way. 
and they separate into two other strands and you unroll those strands and they unroll into very, very thin thread. I'm talking about thread so thin you, you can barely see it. Yeah, I know you guys can even perceive that, but you can see that, that mess. So very cool, very good stuff. It's 550 cord weighs almost nothing anyway, so you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. the weight aspect. I am truly remorseful that I had to destroy this work of art there, Spence, uh, but we do appreciate it. Uh, I do have one more here that I'm going to give. I'm going to. I'm probably going to add this in with a prize, uh, with another item in the in the near future. So this will just be a bonus that you get with a knife or you know any, any other piece of equipment. We so we're probably going to throw this in with some other items, and we got some of these little. I like to call them squirrel tails. Take this bussy real quick and show you how that works. This one will be attractive. There we go. So, and actually, you think these things, there's not much of a lanyard, but I actually just put my pinky in there, like that. You've seen this trick before, guys. And then what you could do is take this back up and just add for more, more material to grab onto and then go to town with it. So, it's gonna give you a little bit more leverage when you're chopping. I think you got four of these total, so we'll be sending these out. So you guys, if you guys have any questions, uh, give Spencer an email, paracordsurvival.web.com. Spencer's a great guy. Appreciate you reaching out to a Spencer. Uh, you know, always trying to support small business owners, so if you guys have any other things you wanna to send to me, let me know, and we'll definitely help you guys, help you guys out, at least uh, Hopefully get some traffic your way. So hey guys, this is Adam from Equip the Door. If you guys have any questions for me, you can email me at adam at equipthedoor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.